Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Winter Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Today I want to review how to use the Google Analytics plugin for your lab secret solution. This plugin provides you access to your Google Analytics data directly inside of your site. You can also allow others to see the entire dashboard while they're logged in or just include part of your analytics data inside of posts or pages or as a sidebar widget. You can even include it in part of your lab theme if you want. The bottom line is you also have goal tracking and some other accessories that really pull the Google Analytics data together directly with your site. All right, let me show you how easy it is to set up and install and how you can use it on your site. And the first thing we want to do is install the plugin, which we always do by going to the admin dashboard. We also want to install an additional plugin that allows us to monitor Google Analytics in general. And in this case, we're going to use a very popular one called the Google Analytics plugin. It's included with your Lab Secrets uh, solution plugin package. And I'm going to scroll down here. And here are the two plugins that we're talking about. We've got the Google Analytics dashboard and we've got Google Analytics for WordPress. Now, we're going to go ahead and set these up with the Google Analytics key that I show in the later part of this tutorial, but the first thing we do is go ahead and activate both of them. Now, I can click individually to activate, or I can use the checkbox and then just go up to the top here and say activate. Now, once I've done that, it tells me that I must go ahead and select which analytics profile to track in order to get things rolling. So in order to do that, I'm going to close the plugins window and scroll down here to settings. And you'll see I've got two new links. One is for analytics and one is for the dashboard. Let's start with Google Analytics. And here's where I'm going to go ahead and put in the key. Now, let's go over here and show you how to get the key. And then we'll come back here and put this in. I've gone over to Google where I already have an account and I've called this one demo1062 at labsecrets.com. And here I'm going to sign up for analytics, which I just need to put in the uh, URL or the domain name of where this site is located. So in this case, this is uh, demo1062.labplayground.com. Now, this is where you'll put your own website in, of course. Uh, the account name doesn't matter. It'll pre-propagate with the name of the URL uh, that you've just typed. You can put your time zone in this uh, country. And I'm over here in central time. And you click continue. Now, at this point, you could put other contact information if you want, etc. Not really necessary, but you can do it. Agree to their terms of service. Create a new account and you should be ready to rock and roll. Now this will issue a unique key that you can use by way of, again, pasting the code to your site the old fashioned way. But in our case, we're gonna do the much easier way. We're gonna go ahead and just use the automatic plugin. So now that we've got an account set up, let's go on over. Before we do, just go ahead, click save and finish so that this is all registered. Very good. We can see here we've got a unique uh, I guess you call this a Google Analytics key, the UA key, as well as you'll have the traditional way to access your statistics if you ever want to go ahead and use this for other purposes. Now that we've gone ahead and shown you how to set up an analytics account, let's go ahead and set up the analytics plugin itself. We first of all want to authenticate with Google to make sure that we have a direct link that the statistics are going to be working. So we click here to authenticate. It gives me uh, information, it says the site is uh, Demo 1062, like we just filled out. I want to grant access. And now we can go ahead and select which profile or analytics profile I want to track. So first thing is select the account. And remember, we only had one profile set up. So in this case, there's only one choice. But in the event you had multiple analytics profiles under one account, you pick the one that's appropriate for this site. Now, you could go ahead and set a lot of other options here, but let's go through the basic ones. Now, in this case, if you wanted to, you can re-authenticate it in case that got broken. You could go ahead and place the tracking code uh, either manually or in the header by default. For almost all cases, we say use the default settings because that will put it in there without you having to do any kind of uh, coding or pasting of code. You could track outbound clicks and downloads if you want, which will give you further data on what people are doing when they leave your site or if they're downloading data from, let's say, a one of your uh, blog posts, you give something you can download like an MP3 file or a video. This will let you track that as well. There's also advanced settings that you can uh, activate if you are a power user. But for this tutorial, we'll leave this alone. And then when you're done with those, you go ahead and click update. And that's all you need for the basics. Now let's go on with setting up the rest of the analytics dashboard, in which case we go down to settings, Google Analytics dashboard. And we can type in our email. We used uh, demo1062 at labsecrets.com. 
put in the password. I like to save the password so I don't have to type it again in the future. Click Save Options. And after a second, okay, now we're ready to go. Now here we can choose from the available accounts. Now I only have one account set up, as you can see here, but in the event that I was tracking multiple sites, I could use the same Google Analytics account on multiple sites. So here we've gone ahead and just used the one that we have. The dashboard level is, again, something that we can pass on now. If you wanted to give other people access to your dashboard, you could say what level or role they need to have in order to see it. For example, if you had people who are editors on your site who are helping you with managing your other members and the content, you might want to give them access to this so that they can see exactly what kind of things are going on and where to focus their energy. Right now, we're going to leave it as admin only. The cache timeout is 60 seconds, a good default. Don't worry about this for right now. This is basics. That's in the event that the plugin doesn't get the data fast enough. You can tell it when to shut itself off. Likewise, the goals, you can go ahead and put different goals in here just like you can with analytics, and you can have custom labels. That's for a more advanced tutorial, so for right now, let's leave that off. We click Save Changes, and we're ready to go. Okay, so there's three places where you can use the Google Analytics dashboard. First and foremost is you can go ahead and see inside of your site the information that it provides. And that's a super easy way for you and the members uh, who you've given authorization to view an ability to see things without having to go back over to the main Google Analytics account. So when I click over here to the dashboard, you'll see I've got a widget now in my main dashboard, which I can adjust. For example, I can show some additional base stats and some extended stats. And most importantly, it has that nice little thing they call a spark line that gives the spikes of ups and downs and tells you exactly how many people have done certain actions on your site. So number one is it's a widget in your dashboard. Number two is that you can apply a widget that appears in any place on your site. And that, of course, we go to the appearance widgets section. And this is where all the drag and drop magic happens with the lab secret solution. And you'll see you've got a new widget called the Google Analytics dashboard. Now, in most cases, you'll drag it to something like a right sidebar. And I'm just going to show you here by way of example. I drag it over and there's a couple options here. You could choose the data type to be viewed as text or as that nice little spark line, which we like. And of course, with all of the Lab Secret Solution widgets, you can uh, make them appear or not appear based upon the criterion of visibility. So if I only wanted this to appear on the members page in the right hand sidebar, I would choose only on the list of pages and I would put the URL. If I want it to appear on all pages, I can just go ahead and remove that and say appear on every page. Uh, except the listed, which is blank. I click Save, and that'll go ahead and put a widget, which will display an image on the right sidebar, depending on that particular setting. Now, last but not least, I can go ahead and create a blog post using short code. Now, you go over here to Posts, and in this case, I got it started, so I created a new post, and I called it something like Stats from Our Campaign. Now, this is called short code. Short code is a fancy way or word of saying a bracketed set of instructions that runs a function uh, inside of your WordPress site. So it's a safe way for you to put functionality or code into your blog posts or your pages where normally that would not be allowed. With short code, we know that by using the code of page views and then putting in the colon there that says sparkline, that says go ahead and put the Google Analytics dashboard uh, imagery here and let's look at the visual sparkline. I then go ahead and click update to save the post and when I do, I can go to the page and refresh it, and I'll see something that looks like this. Now, depending on what statistics or analytics I have already uh, created by way of use of my site, this will show the most recent information of what would otherwise appear in my Google Analytics dashboard. It's the Google Analytics plugin and the Google, Google Analytics dashboard plugin. They work very well together, and you can get them as part of your lab secret solution. This is Spence, the evil genius for Witch of the Laboratory.